talk? Ardo asked if I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up. But no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the Temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking into fog. Better get to the briefing room. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. Luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zerelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the comsats. But the more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. But the Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the Comsat safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait. And hope. When I left the Empire, I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of Imperial Doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt is seen as disloyalty. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart, and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary. The Starhawk Project represents hope for an entire galaxy. It's bigger than any of us. I know you'd rather be defending the Starhawk, but I promise that reactivating the broadcast hub is the best thing you can do to ensure the project's survival. Good luck. I know you won't let me down. This will work. Vanguard Squadron has handled dangerous assignments before, and performed brilliantly. A deadly nebula on one side, and a crumbling moon on the other. That gives us a slim margin of error. It's this, or we come up with something more drastic. You know me, Ardo. There's always another way. Trust me, General, I'm aware. I'm just letting you know that my crew is feeling the strain. Noted. But I trust my people. You included, to make this happen. Sorry, not now. You know, after Endor, I wasn't sure about staying with the New Republic. I'd fought the good fight, even shaken that death mark. I didn't see the point in going legit, so to speak. Figured I'd cash out, then get back to doing what I do best. It was Grace who changed my mind. The day I was set to leave, she pulled me aside and told me something I'll never forget. She said, I'll miss you, Frisk. And back home on Dosh, my clan and I never got along. You're too loud, Ferrisk. Why don't you like hunting, Ferrisk? <sighs> As soon as I could fly, I left. Made my own way. On my own. Until I met Vanguard. 
The only thing better than pulling one over on the Empire was flying with my Vanguard buddies. It had never occurred to me they felt the same way. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is... Whether it's a life or death mission or just helping a Trandoshan feel at home, we make it work. So yeah, things look bleak. But when Vanguard flies together, there's nothing we can't do. Especially with you around. And if we fail, we fail together. And no one will ever know because we'll be dead. <laughs> now that's a win in my book. Ready to go when you are. You're in a U-Wing, which is great news for me. I'll need all the support I can get out there. All these here's on the Temperance. I've never deployed on a mission. I just fixed up what came back. I might be nervous. Scared, even. But I've seen what you and Vanguard can accomplish together. I'm ready. I won't let you down out there.
with friends, no doubt. Join it up. Good looking out, team. When you work together, it really is a sight to behold. You got that right. What's the situation, Zerelda?
strength. Ready when you are, Commander Javes. Attention. This is Commander Javes calling from the Ringali Nebula, requesting emergency assistance. Thanks, Zerelda. We couldn't have done it without you. Damn right. Commander Javes, we're regrouping with Zerelda and heading back to you. Okay. The Temperance is headed to the far side of the moon. We'll meet you there. Commander, where's the Starhawk? He was more badly damaged than we thought. General Sintola has evacuated all personnel to the Temperance. of Project Starhawk, and maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Hello? No, but thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you. 